are well. This is psychosis part two and psychosis and mania. So when we think about psychosis, we tend to think about the delusional thoughts, the um, hallucinations, both auditory and visual, and kind of having sort of the general kind of complex, sort of messed up sort of thinking, confused thinking, puzzled thinking. But actually the, another part of psychosis is the mania. And this happens when you have mood disorders such as bipolar, um, any type, any type of sort of schizoaffective, schizophrenic, schizophrenic disorder. So I wasn't laughing at schizophrenia; I was just laughing at me not being able to pronounce things again. Um, so when we think of psychosis, we tend to think of visuals and hallucinations, but mania is a big part of um, what we understand as psychosis. And I'm going to explain what mania is, and I'm going to say why it, why it happens, and the main reason that we experience this mania. So what is mania? Mania and hypermania are periods of overactive and excited behaviour that have a significant impact on your daily life. This information is taken from mind.org, links are in the description. Mania lasts for a week or more and has a severe negative impact on your ability to do the things you normally do, so your usual activities. Often disrupting or stopping these completely, so you may be completely immersed in your mania, hypermania, and it can make you very, very poorly, it can make you experience things that aren't necessarily there, and also make you feel very, very um, elated and, you know, energetic and over the top. Severe mania is very serious and often needs to be treated in hospital. So what are the symptoms of mania? Like I say, we think of psychosis, we think about delusional thoughts and hallucinations, but, but actually when we experience psychosis, we do, we often go into a mania, if you experience mania that is. So some people don't, some people do, depending on your illness and depending on the individual. So symptoms of mania, and this is how you might feel. So uncontrollably excited, like you can't get the words out fast enough. I've seen people when they're manic, and I can be manic sometimes because of my BPD. Not as severe as this mania, but I can get into a sort of hypermania sometimes. Hypermania is a slightly less severe version of mania. So you can feel like you're talking really, really fast. You may have racing and jumbled thoughts. You may think you're speci special. Spe sounded Australian. You may think you're special, and understand things others un understand things others can't. Apologies there. You may believe you are invincible or have special powers. You can be very easily distracted and unable to con concentrate on anything. Loss of insights. You might not be understanding that your behaviour is a bit odd, or um, that it could cause problems, or that it's unusual. You may have delusions of paranoia, thoughts that people don't share or understand with you. So things that, again, this is more of the sort of delusional thinking again. You can also see things, hear voices and feel things that other people, other people don't. So that's kind of the symptoms of mania. And secondly, this is more symptoms, but how you behave. So we've talked about how you might feel, your feelings, disturbed feelings, and now your disturbed behaviours. So you've got disturbed thoughts disturbed feelings and disturbed behaviours. Remember those guys? So you might behave, so you might talk a lot very quickly to the point that others un are unable to understand you or interpret what you're saying. You may jump quickly between unrelated topics or saying things that don't make sense to people. You may be rude, angry or aggressive. You may do or say things that are out of character or completely inappropriate. You may lose all social inhibitions. You may forget also to look after yourself, so forget to eat or drink, you may misuse drugs or alcohol, take serious risks with your safety, or spend more excessively inappropriate. So people will have different experiences of mania when they are in a psychosis. Some people will have extreme elation and will be kind of talking very very quickly da, 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 and then losing the kind of social inhibitions now i have a friend who has bipolar and experiences mania and has had many of these things happen um, i'm hoping to get her on next year to do an interview talking about what it's like to live with bipolar that should be really interesting so look out for that um so yeah again when we talk about psychosis we're thinking about thoughts but actually it's our feelings and our behaviors that can also be very very disturbed when we have mania so what illnesses experience mania apologies if i've said this already but there are there are more than one there's more than bipolar that is one of them 
Um, but so mood disorders, so mood disorders are bipolar, depression, depressive disorders, etc. So you could also get it if you develop seasonal affective disorders, which is sad. Um, not sad that you get it, but sad seasonal affective disorder. Sorry, guys. Postpartum psychosis, schizoaffective disorder, um, or you might just have psychosis on its own. But um, where does this psychosis, where does this mania come from and why? Well, what people have researched, what people are looking into, I've, I've also watched a documentary on it, and BBC called Why Did I Go Mad? And that's about psychosis. But the main reason we experience this is because of high levels of dopamine. And we have too much dopamine, this can take us into a psychotic episode, um, taking us into a mania, hypermania, or you know, making us see or hear, th see or hear things that aren't there. But what is dopamine? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, one of many chemicals in the brain used to transmit information from one brain cell to another. It's associated with how we feel, whether something is in, whether something something is significant, important, or interesting. Now I've talked about this in my addiction videos. Um, have you seen my dopamine dance? Mm -mm -mm. My dopamine dance is because dopamine can be really, really, excuse me, can be really. Uh, vital to people like me who kind of have depression they need that dopamine to make them feel better dopamine is also released when you take drugs alcohol uh, nicotine all of those kind of things so dopamine can be really good dopamine gets us makes us feel energized dopamine makes us feel good and um, too much dopamine though can take us into a mania if we are prone to mania from either our illness or if we have suffer from psychosis psychotic episodes so um Disruption to these important brain functions may explain the symptoms of psychosis. So what happens is there's too much dopamine, this raises the levels and then this leads to psychosis, psychotic episode and to delusions, hallucinations and experiencing different behaviours and different feelings. Evidence for the role of dopamine in, psych in psychosis comes from several sources including brain scans and the fact that medications known to reduce the effects of dopamine in the brain also reduce the symptoms of psychosis. So when we're thinking of psychosis, we're thinking of delusional thoughts, hallucinations, and also mania. And all of this is brought on by dopamine. I hope that's explained psychosis and mania. I will be talking more about mania when I talk about bipolar, which will be coming later next year. But I hope this has expanded a bit more on my first psychosis video, explaining that there's other other layers, other facets to experiencing psychosis, not just having delusional thoughts and hallucinations. Thanks for watching. Please put any comments in the space below. Do you experience mania? Do you have a mood disorder which brings on psychosis? Have you got um, schizophrenia or any other more severe um, psychotic illnesses? Or have you only experienced mania once or twice? Have you had postpartum psychosis? Whatever you want to tell me about psychosis and mania, please put it in the description below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Take care guys. Bye now.